This is the Lark M2, a wireless lavalier mic system that comes in a very tiny package but packs a big punch. You'll find a charging case that houses both the transmitters and the receiver. And I absolutely love the case. Not only is it very appealing, but it has a very cool tactile texture to it. And of course, the case is housing two very tiny transmitters and one receiver. And I just can't get over how tiny this entire package is. I mean, we're talking about like button tiny. So who do I think the Lark M2 is targeting? Well, it's the everyday content creator that cares about having great discrete audio without sacrificing quality. Let's dive in. Taking a look at the microphone transmitter a little bit closer, it really is remarkable how they were able to jam pack all these features in such a compact body design. Now, let's talk about what you get included in the box. You're gonna get cell phone adapters for both USB-C, hint, hint, the new iPhone, and Android users, along with a lightning adapter for, well, old iPhone users. Opening up the larger box, you're gonna find a drawstring bag, similar to the Lark Max, which I absolutely love because it organizes everything together. And no surprise here, all the other accessories are in there. You'll find two magnetic back clips, perfect for interviews. Of course, your two transmitter windscreens, a Lark M2 silicone necklace, which I thought was a great added touch. And of course, all of your charging cables, your camera cables, some stickers, the user guides, and so forth. This really is a complete package. Okay, so I have the new Lark M2. This thing is so tiny, it's literally a button. Compared to its bigger brother, for example, the Lark Max, you can see there's quite a bit of difference. And likewise, if you compare it to something like the DJI Mic, also a really big difference. Right now, what I'd really like to do is test the sound quality between the DJI Mic, the Lark Max, its bigger brother, and the Lark M2 give you guys an idea of just how good is the sound in this really tiny button size package. Okay, I have all three mics right now and we have the dead cats on because it's kind of windy, but this is what the Lark M2 sounds like unedited by itself, and now this is what the Lark M2 sounds like edited with all my presets, compression, all that good stuff. Now, in comparison to its big brother, which is a little bit more professional studio quality, this is the Lark Max. This is what the Lark Max sounds like, and this is what the Lark Max sounds like unedited. Nothing done to it in post-processing, just raw. And now this is what the Lark Max sounds like edited with all my presets, compression, and so forth. And now we're gonna be using the DJI mic. This is what the DJI mic sounds like unedited. And this is what the DJI mic sounds like edited with presets and everything else. There is one other thing that I want to mention. When it comes to putting on the Dead Cats, the Dead Cats are a lot easier to install with the Lark Max and the DJI mic. And with the Lark M2, because it's so small, it's a button size. It doesn't necessarily install as quickly as I would have liked. And it was a little bit frustrating, but I think I got the hang of it. But that is something that I wanted to mention. Of course, there's always compromise. The smaller the object, the harder it is to make accessories and fit features and things like that. But overall, I can't complain. I mean, you're getting a really tiny, tiny, tiny mic that literally looks like a button. Actually, let me take out all the dead cats and I'll show you guys just how tiny this thing really is when it's on a person. Okay, there is not a whole lot of wind right now. It's kind of dying down. So hopefully the audio quality is pretty good. But to show you guys just how tiny this thing is, I'm gonna clip on the DJI mic and the Lark Max. Okay, now I look like Mike Boy. This looks really, really weird, but this is what all three mics look like when they're clipped on a person. It's just fantastic. If you want to be discreet, this is the mic to get. 
But you guys let me know in the comments below, how was the sound quality with each mic and which one do you prefer? Okay, now we're back on the Lark M2. There's a couple features that I really want to point out that I think are really neat. First off, considering that this is such a small little package, it actually has fantastic battery life. You're gonna get around 10 hours of battery life without the noise canceling feature on. Also, it's recording in high quality. Now, it doesn't have 32-bit float or anything like that, but it does feature 48 hertz, 24-bit, which is still fantastic, and I think it's probably more than enough for most people out there. Now, yes, you don't have the flexibility of 32-bit float, but this is catered more to the everyday content creator. It's really easy to plug in and just get going. I mean, I literally plugged it into my Sony A7S III. The transmitters and receiver automatically started rolling right away, and there was literally no headache in connecting. Now, it does have noise canceling, which is pretty cool. The company calls it, I think, environmental cancellation or environment cancellation, something like that. But it's basically noise cancellation. And we saw it on the Lark Max. And with the Lark Max, it was fantastic. You're going to get something similar here and you can actually control it. You can control just how much noise cancellation do you want, low, medium, high. And if you plug this thing into, let's say your smartphone, your iPhone or whatever, there's an app. I think it's called Lark Sound, and you can literally adjust the noise canceling from low, high, medium, whatever it is that you want, directly from your phone when you're plugged in. And that's really cool that you can actually kind of play around with those settings. Noise cancellation can be activated with just a button. Speaking of, let's try it out right now. So you'll see the LED light change colors when you activate noise cancellation. And right now we have noise cancellation on. So this is what it sounds like with noise cancellation. Again, I'm plugged into the Sony a7S III. We have an airplane behind us right now that's flying over. There's a lot of environmental noise. We're outdoors, you can hear some cars, you can hear people talking, all kinds of things. So if it's as good as the Lark Max, then I think you're getting so much from just a very tiny device. It's completely unheard of. Five years ago, no one would have thought that something like this at such a small package with a case, internal batteries, noise cancellation, all these great features would be at your fingertips. Okay, so I've given you guys all the pros so far, but there's no product out there that's 100% perfect. And you guys know me by now, I'm gonna give you guys all the pros and cons. Now, full disclaimer, some of these cons that I might be mentioning, or they're not necessarily cons, it might be like areas of improvement or features to consider that are missing, things like that may not matter to you, okay? So they're very subjective. First one being there's no internal recording. So if you're looking for a device that can internally record, the Lark Max, the big brother, is probably gonna be a little bit more towards what you want. Likewise, it doesn't have 32-bit float. That's kind of disappointing. There's no 32-bit float in the Lark Max either. So Hollyland, I know Rode has done it so far. Rode has done, you know, with their wireless mic pro 32 bit internal recording and I, they also have time code. So you're not going to get that with the Lark M2. And I think, you know, if you're considering the Lark M2, you kind of already know that already or you don't care, but you're not going to get it in the Hollyland Lark Max either. So it's kind of a new feature that so far only Rode offers. Also, another thing to consider, like I said earlier, because it's so tiny, it's hard to put on the dead cat, things like that, but it's also incredibly tiny. So if you have someone that's shy or wants to remain discreet, things like that, this is the microphone system that you wanna consider. It has so many other pros though. Besides it being compact and small, it comes with everything that you need. You can plug into your iPhone, you can plug into your Android device, your new iPhones, USB-Cs. You can go straight to your camera. It has a charging case. It has great range. We're gonna talk about the range in a second. And really, it's probably the best overall package for the everyday content creator. So, Hollyland is known for having great sound and catering to that more professional, semi-professional, you know, group of people. And it's nice to see that they're now catering to the beginners, the casual social media content creators, or even the full-time social media content creators. But not only are they catering to them, they're also offering products that give you a really professional sound. Okay, now let's take a moment to talk about the range. 
Hollyland is advertising, I think it's something like 300 meters, something like that. And honestly, I found with the Lark Max, the bigger brother, if you had line of sight, usually whatever they advertised, it either hit that mark or exceeded it just a bit. So I was expecting something similar because the Lark Max not only had great range, but it also had really good frequency interference rejection. Okay, if you guys have watched my other videos, you'll know that I love doing a range test. And I recently compared the Rode Wireless Go 2 versus the DJI mic versus the Lark Max. And the Lark Max stood out for its range and its reliability in rejecting interference. Well, sunny California? wasn't so sunny. It was pouring rain all week and I was trying to find a break to actually do a range test and there was a small opening between thunderstorms where I actually had a chance to go out and check it out. Now we repeated the test several times. We did line of sight and out of sight. We saw about a 50 to almost 75 meter decrease for out of sight. And line of sight, it did really well, 283 meters. Keep in mind, there's a thunderstorm and lots of interference, but overall, I think you're gonna get plenty of range. So it's really starting to rain and I gotta get out of here. But I wanted to close by saying, I think this is a fantastic system. It's discreet and that's what I love most about it without sacrificing quality or features. And if you're considering it, I think you should pull the trigger. Otherwise, you have its big brother, the Lark Max, which gives you a little bit more studio quality. That's it for me guys. I hope you found this video informative. And if you did, please consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care everybody.